to Bawan Nanabakwe and Ogamawab and everyone who has joined us today. We wanted to invite Bwanan Nabekwe and Ogamawab to share with us as, like I said, we at SKG and Ogoma University have started land-based learning online with cycles of our night sky. And we all recognize the importance of learning from um, our people that still carry the stories of the sky world. So we can be in the good, so we can in a good way as we learn and grow. The knowledge this mother and son carry is as beautiful as the Anan or the stars themselves. And we are very honored for them to be able to take the time and share with us their teachings of Grandfather Sky. We hope today's sharing will be one of many as we venture to learn the Anishinaabe understanding of the cosmos and our place as two-legged beings within it. So again, I just want to thank everyone for coming and um, you watch to Ogham University and SKG and Dr. Andrew Judge, and I will pass it back to him. Miigwech, Rainbow, thank you. Um, with so many people, uh, just re like to remind the people who showed up first, I mentioned this, we had over 400 people register for today's uh, seminar. I think that just shows this incredible interest in, 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 in this particular topic. Um, I am going to put a link in the chat and I would encourage everyone who's interested in further uh, conversations such as this to um, consent to receive um, email from us. We have a number of activities coming up. We're really excited, but uh, before we get to our featured speakers, uh, I really want to uh, welcome Chief Dean Sayers on behalf of uh, this territory. Bawating and uh, Bachuana First Nation uh, Chief Sayers. Miigwech Dr. Judge, thank you Andrew and Miigwech Rainbow and everybody that's on here. This is my name, I'm uh, Chief Dean and I am from Bawating here, uh, Bajranang and uh, it's an honor to welcome you today. In particular uh, from my view as the chair of the Shingwa um, Kinemagegamek, I'm um, the current chair of the uh, the new university here, Shingwa Kinemage, and um, we're we're working with so many wonderful people to bring a whole new worldview from our lens, and uh, it's an honor to be able to witness the kinds of things that we're going to be sharing today with Ogamawab uh, and Bonanabe Kwe Miigwech Kibujaya. Thank you for coming today. Um, I'm Crane Clan, and uh, more particularly, my family refers to us from the lens of the uh, Blue Heron Clan. And uh, we've been here at the center of the Great Lakes uh, as long as uh, we can remember. Uh, we know we didn't venture from across the Bering Straits or from Africa or wherever, but this is where we were placed. And this is the area that we took the responsibility on to look after in its entirety, including all of our relatives. And uh, today is um, a very special day. If you could indulge with me for a moment here, I just wanted to make mention of, of a really beautiful memory that, uh, that I wanted to share with you. Um, tomorrow is my dad's, would have been my dad, uh, Murray, uh, Murray Ba, his 100th birthday. And uh, he died a couple of years ago now. And uh, we're preparing a feast today, but I wanted to make uh, some time to, uh, to say uh, good afternoon to you all and, uh, and bring, bring a, a memory that he shared with us. Uh, and uh, Amy, Amy's on here too, Amy, Amy McCoy. Her and I, we have a beautiful son and um, he's, um, he's nine, he's gonna be 10 soon. But um, before, before, um, he came into this world, uh, we went and talked to my parents and asked them, we gave them same on, asked them to help us uh, bring his name with him as he come here. And, uh, and we had uh, a ceremony when the name finally came and we gave tobacco and it took a little while uh, for the actual name to come. But when the name came, my parents met with us and uh, they said, this is the name that, uh, that came to us, it came to him in the night and, uh, and he said his name, there's a word that we don't hear the people around here. My mom is 97 now. Um, she was a couple of years younger than my dad. So they, 
a couple hundred years of wisdom there between them. But uh, my dad was uh, around 90 at the time. And he said, a long time ago, when we were kids living here in Baoting and Badranong and Chuaikwadong and on the eastern shore of Lake Superior, he said, at the time, there was no roads or very little trails. But he said the elders in the middle of winter would talk about this group of stars that they would look to at the end of February, March, and um, they would be able to look at, depending on how those stars were situated and how they looked, they could tell how long the winter was going to be, and they'd use that for navigation. And he said, nobody even talks about that word no more. I don't hear any elders talking about that word no more. Nobody talks about it anymore. And uh, he said his name has to be Odomok. And, and Odomok uh, is the name of that group of stars. And uh, he said, because our, our language and those words and those stories are no longer there, Odomok has to have that name to keep that word alive and to keep that, that understanding alive about our relationship with the star world. So uh, that's his name. And uh, Odomok is uh, really in touch with uh, his grandfather and, uh, and our ancestors and uh, and that long litany of, uh, of leadership and people along the Eastern Lake Superior area and Bauting and even on, on all around the center Great Lakes. And he's, uh, he's quite the incredible young man and uh, we're really blessed to have him join us here. And uh, so I, I encourage you um, to take advantage of and listen to and learn from the elders. They have such a beautiful Anishinaabe worldview. We have something that we need to protect, something that we need to hang on to, something that we need to share with our future generations. We are that generation that needs to do whatever we can to keep those wonderful, beautiful uh, views alive for the future. So I wanted to say miigwech to Shingwa Kinemangegamek, Elgum University, SASA, and all of the organizations that help make this possible today. It's really a beautiful thing that we, we've we been gifted with today. So miigwech kibajaya. And thank you, uh, uh, Professor uh, Judge. And uh, I'll turn it back over to you. Miigwech. Miigwech. Thanks, uh, Chief. Uh, really appreciate your words. What a cool story about your son there, uh, Adamuk. Uh, he has a bright future ahead of him, I'm sure, uh, with you as his dad. <laughs> but uh, I just want to say miigwech to all of you who are here. 200 people is unbelievable. And, and, and I have my SEMA. We are, of course, not able to travel across the border. And uh, we would like to do this in person. But I, I have my SEMA in my hand. And I'm just going to make sure I offer this uh, after we're done. But without further ado, um, Ogi Mawab and Bawanabe kwe miigwech and uh, take it away. Okay. <laughs> My English is name, my English name is Mary Moose. I just wanted to explain that uh, that I mean that we're gonna do the star story stories but only one thing that we can do is uh, to tell the the legends we can tell legends for at this at this time the only time we could do that is winter time but we will talk about the 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 stories just everything I mean the, the stories of the stars and stuff like that and then um, my son here you he will cover most of the stuff and then I will help him as we go so, um, so today I'll be talking about um, talking about the night sky tonight and today. So one thing that um, one thing I always enjoy is talking about um, our, our stories as a people. Our stories as a people, we have many, many stories. Um, from community to community, stories may vary from community to community. As I travel out to uh, Anishinaabe, 
country. We've learned a lot from a lot of uh, a lot of other other elders out through over the years, uh, from uh, Leonard Moose to my mom to to elders out in uh, Quebec, Ontario, and uh, enjoy enjoy listening to what the elders have to say. So that's how all of this knowledge is obtained: is by listening, by sitting in the ceremony, by by hearing what's said in the ceremony. So and you, you, everything's there. Everything's there, part of our life. So it's like uh, um, it's like my mother's name here. Uh, uh, it's called Juan Juan Inabe Kwe. That means uh, mermaid. In uh, Anishinaabe people, we had a relationship with those water beings, even to this day and a um, long time ago. And um, like in our stories of uh, Wen Abuju, he he fell in love with a, a mermaid long ago in that Adazokan story. And that's a very long story about him, and we, there are a lot of things we can learn from from that story. And that story uh, also plays out in the night sky, also plays out here in this world. As Anishinaabe people, we still remember those beings, those uh, beings that live in the water, and also those beings that live in the sky, also those beings that live in the earth. So there's a lot of manaduk that we talk about in our ceremonies, and also we talk about each, we utilize them each day. It's like um, right now, a lot of us out there are finishing or starting, uh, depending on your region where you live, are tapping your trees. Uh, right in this area in Minnesota, people are, are tapping the birch tree out there. And those um, birch tree, they give us medicine, and the land give us medicine, nourishment, um, and we learn from, from our environment. when We take direction from our environment. And also, you know, it's really amazing that we have that relationship with all those things out there, with all the, the spirits, the trees that stand, the, the plants that grow, and also Gidudim and Anik, our, our clans, our clans as a people. We learn a lot from those things. We learn a lot from those Manaduk, uh, those spirits, Agujing. We learn from everything out there. We learn, um, as I as I gonna continue my presentation here, I'm gonna share a PowerPoint share my screen here. So we had um, my uh, late uh, stepfather, Manaduntz, he um, drew this, uh, this uh, picture right here. We had uh, a lot of the, the, the clans. We had uh, Megizi, we had Mong, we had um, Adik, Name, we had Makwa, Moose, you know, we have the Bijou, we have Mikanak, and uh, we have uh, Kanabik, we have uh, Umashkus, you know, um, uh, um, um, we have Aji Jock, you know, the echo maker. Um, so I always remember those things in you know, uh, my gun, all those uh, money do, all those spirits, they, they help us, they help us uh, live in this world. We learn from all those spirits and how to be. Um, we learn from our stories, like when, uh, when when Abuju uh, gave Kokopoho those uh, big eyes, you know, so so she can see in the dark, and also we know her as to know all that knowledge, you know. When we ask those spirits, we put our tobacco. You go out, outside and you ask that money do that Kokopoho money do Kokmasana money do our grandmother. You ask you ask her and ask her for for knowledge, and she'll share all her knowledge, all her wisdom, to you as your journey in life. And also for my gun, same thing. You put your tobacco, Maigan will show you how, and also uh, Makwa, when you put your tobacco out, you know, you ask Makwa for help, Makwa will help you out. Same for all those uh, Manadu, Agujing, all those spirits, we respect them. We, and they respect us, they helped us um, live in this world, that we learned, helped us uh, survive, and we talk about their stories, you know, in, in our, in the winter time, we talk about their stories within ceremony, so, like, um, like uh, Ode Amun, a long time ago, Ode Amun, he um, got help from uh, from another from that loon, you know, that loon help uh, help uh, Ode Amun a long time ago, and also, and uh, that also Gwingwa Ge, the Wolverine, he helped uh, get the Nishinaabe a long time ago, and also um, we have Wayne uh brothers, you know, we have uh, Magriash, he. Uh, he helped uh, get the Anishinaabe. He gave us medicine, you know. He he uh, and also uh, Pagriyash, you know. He gave us uh, a lot of things. He gave us that uh, 
those songs that he learned from the animals. He taught the Gitin Shinad, all those things. And like the, the hand drum and also those other items like Kokuma Sanam Manitou, the grandmother moon, and also uh, Mushma Sanam, grandfather's son. All those things were given to us as Anishinaabe people to utilize all those medicines that were given. Like uh, Kokuma Sanan, the moon, she gave uh, uh, Pagjayash the, the hand drum because Pagjayash means the, 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 the disowned one. And um, Pagjayash, he, um, he uh, you know, very, very disfigured, very, he was, he was the, the, the second one born. So, and also Pagjayash, he uh, very, very disfigured and he had a lot of uh, um, sorrow, he had the grief and uh, nobody wanted to be around him. So, and eventually uh, Kokuma Sanan said, you're very well loved. And Kokuma Sanan showed him his power, showed him that power within himself, regardless how he looks, how he is, that he's very beautiful inside. And we're all beautiful inside as a people. We all have something to offer, offer a life here in this world. So, Nikokuma Sanan brought that uh, medicine within him inside, within, within inside Pogjiyash. And Pogjiyash used that, uh, his ode, his heart. And everything around Anishinaabe people, um, everything's centered around ode, the heart. Like in the night sky, we call uh, the, nord, the northern, uh, the north star, we call the Giwetina Nung. The, the going home star. And also Anishinaabe people, we call that Odeanam, the gathering, the gathering of hearts up there in the in the night sky, the heart star. So we always remember uh, remember the stories of our people. When we have songs about them, we have songs of that North Star up there. We sing it on our water drum. And also we have songs of the heart star. We we sing that on our water drum. We have those things that we utilize today. We all when we feast, we talk about those things. We talk about all those manadu. We feast them. We tell them to come in. We also we ask our ancestors, our our gitina, We ask them to come into our our ceremonies. We invite them in. And when we go out and dance, we dance. We invite them in again. Like when you go to a, a gathering, a ceremony, where there's where there people are dancing on a drum. You know, you're out there dancing. But you're just not dancing. You're out there inviting those that you love, your loved ones. You ask your families, you ask those, those ones that passed on, hey, come dance with me today. So when you're dancing out there, you're not dancing alone. You're dancing with your loved ones. And uh, we always remember those things. So it's the Anishinaabe people. So, uh, and also um, when it comes around the center of the heart, Ode, um, we always talk about with, the, with that in our ceremonies. I'm gonna continue the slide here, so. So we have Gido de Mananik, our clans. You know, Gido de Mananik, the Kino Mago, and Minishinabe, and Nung, Kindasuin, Minoa, Nikonic, Nikonic, Kinishinabe, Star Knowledge and Consolation. That's the the word we utilize for Nikonic. Um, we're just going to Nikonic. Nikonic. Yeah. Nikonic is a Nikonic. Nikonic. Like all the, the spirits, like Nikonic uh, Mananik. And uh, that's our helpers when we do something, when we do ceremonies and everything like that. Like you see them, you see them when you look outside at nighttime, and then we, or you see the animals, the trees. Like that's that's uh, mechanic. Like it could be could be me, it could be you guys, it could be anybody. So that we help, we help in a in a way about the like a mishnapi anak and anang kita so na minawa ni kanak. Like the stars, and the snappy, and the snappy knowledge of constellation. That's Nikanak. Like we're talking, we're talking about, we're we're gonna talk about them, and then how they help us in many ways. Yeah. Right. So uh, a lot of the photographs in this uh, presentation were taken by my brother uh, Mishikans uh, Abraham Sutherland. Um, he took a lot of these photographs here. Uh, that are present in the presentation here to, to, to today. So, so uh, we have um, a lot of uh, slides here to share today, and also too, uh, the nice sky for Anishinaabe people is full of stories. We we personify the night sky, and what I mean by personify is that we we utilize our stories, our our image within our minds, and we. Tell or talk about our people up there. We talk about our ceremonies. We talk about our 
our way of life, like uh, like the directions Wabanung, Jaunung, Nagabianung, Kiwetanung. Those things have significant meaning when it comes to the night sky, and also to a lot of uh, other um, other things in the night sky. So also. Um, So our, our star stories of Anishinaabe are part of the complex system of, of, of spiritual philosophy and beliefs. And Anguk, the stars, planets, have always been regarded as our oldest relatives. Uh, and the Anishinaabe people, we, we saw um, the, the earth, the, the, the moon, the, the sun, and all those other celestial objects in the night sky to be a systematic family unit. We, uh, we saw those things to be um, we saw those things uh, utilized. Um, so we utilize those things in the back right now. Hi guys. So we. Joseph, you uh, you got muted. All right, I'm I'm on muted now. So, <laughs> so. Uh, when we uh, when we like our when we look at the the night sky, we talk about each star of being our relative up there in the night sky. That's how we utilize a lot of the stars. Uh, like we'll talk. Uh, sometimes we'll we'll pick a star and we'll say, "That's my that's my grandfather up there, or it's my grandmother," and up there those are my family. Each one of them. So every time when you see the Anishinaabe people, when we when we, we we documented a lot of the stars up there in the night sky, we knew that uh, there were things up there like uh, like earth so that we knew that uh, we had names for them so we we have the, our stories are, are like where the thunder beings come from where other money duo come from we talk about them and where they come from because we understood as Anishinaabe people that we were lowered down onto the earth so and that our body came from the earth and this earth here is very sacred to us this uh, also the sky is very sacred to us in things in, in the ground is sacred the water is sacred. All those things were are, are a part of us. So everything's related. Because we talk about in ceremony that um, how everything was created, that when that nothing became something, and that something is happening right now, we call the Matasi win. Life is forever expanding. Um, when everything, everything, everything is moving forward in, in, in our world. So that 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 life force, that energy that we call a creator is uh, continuing right now, it's all a part of us in life. It's within the water, it's within the trees, it's within our very own cells in our body, within within everything we do. As I'm speaking right now, everything's moving forward. So we hold that very sacred as a people. We understood that that we're all we're all related in, in that way. We're all related with that supreme um, um, energy that we call creator today. So <clears throat> So also our clans, the Anishinaabe clan serves as a, as a traditional of, of government and also well of meaning and dividing responsibilities. We, um, all our clans are up there in the night sky as a people and we have stories of our clans up there. We talk about them, we, we know their location. You know, we, we, um, so I'll, I'll share a lot about their location tonight, I mean today. So, so right here is a, um, just some some of the constellations, you know, Ojik, Mong, Miju Biju, Madudu Swan, you know, and also I located them with their uh, with the Greek mythology here, so we, that way you can pick up an app and uh, you can uh, see their location. It's like Aji Jok, um, the Crane, Cygnus, also uh, Anakin Benesiwuk, um, just above Scorpio, Makwa, you know, the Big Dipper. So we have that Abiskeshis and the Spider. You know, that grandmother spider, the one that helped us lower us down to the earth. We always mean Wayne Abuju, you know, up there, we remember he, he has a Wayne as in a nice sky in many places, you know, depending on your region. Also, uh, we talk about Bugnogi Yijik, hole in the sky. We talk about uh, when, how that hole in the sky was made. We talk about, um, about uh, where we come from, hole in the sky. And also we talk about those... Uh, there was a uh, grandfather teachings where they come from. So, and also the winter maker, Bibunike, he, he's, he's up there. And also that correlation with the hole in the sky too, with the, uh, with Ojig, you know, 
and a nice guy, and also Wawate, also uh, Wabanung, Jawanung, and Kiwitanung, and Nagabianung. You know what? The Pagag Jesus, Kukmasanan, the moon, and also our, our, our uh, grandfather's son, Gimushmasanan. Uh, and we have Ushkabazuk, you know, Manitou Kishwimi. We have those spiritual helpers. And we have uh, um, all those other other objects in the night sky. So we'll talk about uh, a lot of those things today. We always remember, our, especially our earth, uh, the Mama Aki. So. So as Anishinaabe people, we, uh, like I said earlier, we had names for these objects in the night sky. And we, we knew their location. We know what they were and, and as a people. So we had Akwa Bezizit, the key, the rusty earth, Minawa Kichioma Wasamoy, the key, the great bright leader, uh, Jupiter. So we, and also above Jupiter, we knew what, what we knew right up top Jupiter, what was there. And we see the story above it. There's a story above Jupiter I'll share here in a bit. And also uh, Kukma Sanan. We know uh, Kukma Sanan uh, plays an important role uh, in our everyday life. Um, and also Mushma Sanan, you know, Mukaham Jesus, that word, uh, um, that word uh, Mukaham, it means a lot of things in our language. It doesn't mean, uh, it means, it doesn't mean the, like the sunrise. It means uh, that light, light will appear um, somewhere every, every, in everything. So, uh, so the sunrise. So we always remember those things. And also, uh, but also we have Kitikan uh, Ki Amad, Ring Around the Garden, Saturn. You know, we, uh, if you look in the night sky, if you look at Saturn, you'll, you'll see you'll see its shape. You know? uh, when I was a young boy growing up in Canada and being out in the woods way up north, um, looking at the night sky in the wintertime is a very beautiful sight. You know. You can see a lot of those things. You can see Jibai Mikana, the uh, the ghost road. You can see all those things that were told in those stories as, as our elders speak. So, and I always remember those 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 things that are talked about within the ceremony. Like when we uh, send somebody back home, we, we talk about those things. If you listen to what is said in that ceremony, you'll talk about uh, what is said about that ghost road. Um, So we have um, we have do them. Uh, we have the word do douche. We have um, do 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 douche is breast and do do is nourishment. Ode is heart. So the meaning of the word uh, do them. Um, breast from which I draw. In other words, that from which I draw my purpose, meaning, and being. Uh, do them, do them as I re receive purpose and meaning from being a source of life, mother and father. O day, clan would really translate the expression of or having to do with one's heart. In other words, do them refers to extended family blood relation. So, uh, do them would refer to bloodline. Um, so you always remember that do them in the O day, everything centered around O day. Uh, we always remember that our, our, the, the life of our mother, the life of our father. As Anishinaabe people, we, we understood those things. We always honored our mother's clan and our father's clan. So in ceremony, we use, always utilize our father's clan. So, And uh, as Anishinaabe people, we would uh, have markers. You know, we, we would like, um, like if your father was Bear clan and your mother was uh, Crane clan, we, you know, the, the, the offsprings would follow the father's clan. So, and um, also, and when you go around, uh, people will put up markers on the ground or on trees. They would write, uh, they would, uh, they would uh, draw a bear. And if they had three children, they would draw three bears underneath, underneath the, then they had to put the crane clan. So in, in that, in that uh, drawing, whatever, uh, on a log or on a tree or on a, on a plaque, they would, they would draw it. Or, and also before, uh, uh, under lodge, they would, they would draw these things. They would draw like the father's clan right there, the bear, and would have three cubs underneath. And it would have uh, Aji Jock standing beside, that'd be, the, the, that'd be his wife, the mother. Aji Jock would be standing there. And we always utilize those things as Nishinaabe people. Um, 
you would have those uh, different different markers. And if uh, if you if you go around, if you go if you see a fresh uh, marker on a tree, you know that there there was a family living there. And as a people, we honor that. We honor those things. And if a family, we went down, and a lot of times family would have like a um, would have mega shells, mega belts, and those belts would have a story on them, and that tells about their family, tells about their bloodline as a people. And we remember all those uh, manadu that that showed us those things and how to utilize those things. When we utilize our our, our migas belts, um, they tell a lot of story. So we always remember how uh, how uh, Magriash and how he gave us that mega shell and how we utilize it today. And also in the gig in the night sky it tells that story all the time of uh, how and uh, how we retained that mega shell. And how and also those money do they showed us how to use our day, our heart within our ceremonies, how to use that mega shell, how to heal ourselves, and the, how to harness our, our our energy as a people, our money do our spirit, how to uh, transfer that power through through that object. So, and we always remember those objects are very sacred to us as a people. So when we have our feasts or anything like that, we'll, we'll bring those items, we'll feast those items, we'll talk about those items in, in the language, we'll talk to them to our ancestors, our uh, family people. So, so right here um, is a symbol uh, to Anishinaabe people. Um, the symbol right here uh, symbolizes a lot of things. Um, it symbolizes a... Uh, um, the Chisakan, Ninoa, uh, the, the, the boy drum, the water drum, are, are in the night sky. This uh, object here talks, talks about uh, a lot of things. And also, each, each circle there you see it symbolizes a, one asene, one grandfather, one grandmother, one rock, and it has a teaching. And as, as, as we, uh, as we uh, tie our water drum, you know, no matter where you come from, the, the teachings are, are, are different er, different areas, but uh, we always remember that uh, each teaching, you know, when you tie that water drum, you have that rock, you, you tie that first rock, that second rock, that third rock, fourth rock, fifth rock, seven, you know, right down to the seven rock. And we all, in Shinaibe people, we remember the, um, the placement of the, of the clans. Um, no matter what community you come from, like I said, it might vary. Like we'll have Crane, we'll have Loon, we'll have Wawazeshi, the Martin, and we have the Uja, Ushkanze, the, the Hoof, and Benesi, Benesi, the Bird, Makwa, Egun, the Fish, Mom. You know, they all play a role in our, our government system up there. It's told, it's written, written in the night sky. When we when you see uh, when you see the, the crane get out of hand, we have that uh, one being, the fish, will we'll, we'll correct the. Um, We'll correct the Aji Jock, or if, if the fish um, gets out of hand, the uh, Aji Jock will correct the, you know, the fish. So vice versa, like the Wabazeshi, you know, if they get out of hand, the, the Benesi Wuk will, will correct them. Vice versa. So Makwa, Ushkanzu, uh, the Hoof Clan. So we always remember this this teaching here, as Anishinaabe people, it's, it's up there in the night sky. It's, it's shown. You know, some people will say it's a the North Star, some people say it's Bagno Gijik, the plate, the Pleiad East constellation in a hole in the sky. We have those uh, seven objects up there, the seven and seven, the seven points of the of the North Star, uh, or Odei Nung, the, the heart star. So we all, we like I said, these stories are told differently and from community to community, but we always honor these things. If uh, when I'll do a, a feast, I'll I'll talk about these things. I'll talk about these um, clans, each clan in their role. Um, so I always honor these Manaduk because they helped us survive here in this world. They help uh, clothe us, they help feed us, they help taught us medicine. So. Then, then another thing is that uh, those rocks that they, that they put there, those rocks are older than uh, everything. Like they were, the, the, that was Nanabosho that made those rocks. When they when they had wishes, three wishes, like they asked for, like the the people asked for a wish, so that one one wish that one man had is that uh, he asked, says uh, 
Then the person asked him, what do you want you? How can I help you? And then that man said, I want to live forever. I like to, I like to see the, the world, like when it's going to, how long it's going to last. So that Nanabasa grabbed that guy and then he rolled him through it on the, on the ground. So that's, that's how, that's where the rocks come from. And then that's how far this uh, knowledge is like uh, when Nanabasa first made things. That's when the rocks come in, and then that's why they're they're tied in a, in a water drum, scrappy was like uh, the boy drum. <clears throat> so the clans, and then he take care of uh, the clans to be to, to to take care of each other to to, to help each other, so they don't they don't get the uh, like they don't make mistake. So if they one make mistake, and then they correct each other, so that that way that way we we live a good life, and then also. All those uh, the teachings that we have, we we have those teachings like when we do our ceremonies, we talk about those things. This is what we talk about when we when we do the medewan or when we do the shaken tent or when we do the the healing. All kind of different ceremonies we talk. We take one of the stories from there, and then that's what we use, and that's what help us to in order to the things to work when you when you do ceremony. So that's that's the gift that the, that the rocks and then the stories that give us, and also the, and also like this is a this is how the Nishnabi have his knowledge. So there's there's so many ways that the, that the, the spirits we can like give us a man man to to give us an like how to how to worship our great spirit. So and then also like he wrote everything. Like where are we going to go when it's time to go home? But then my son will start talking about those a few things that they just mentioned. Yeah. So, uh, so like uh, when we uh, utilize like the Chisa Khan, the shaking tent, you know, we always remember those money do like uh, Mikkanak, that uh, that uh, um, in the center of that ceremony that he speaks for all of us, he speaks for all the Manaduk, Mikanak. And we always remember Mikanak is that Mikanak, that, that word Mikanak means a, a trail, a, a road. Um, we always remember that that spirit in uh, his teachings. And, um, I learned a lot from uh, Mikanak growing up, you know, all through those ceremonies when he, when he spoke in that Shisakan, in that, that shaking tent. Um, how, how powerful he is and what he gave us as a, as a people. So, and also uh, up there in the night sky, all when we call all those spirits in. So I always remember Mick Kanaki, we all have a road. We all have a, a trail in life that's, uh, that's before us and also behind us. And those are teachings as we hold ourselves in this world. So, and I always remember that uh, that ceremony itself so uh, the origin of, of us as a people, our clans, um, we come from Ishpeming in the sky above, Minawa, uh, now Kamak in the center of the earth. You know, we are some, some, uh, some uh, Manadur come from the center of the earth, some come from Ishpeming. Uh, oral stories uh, told in ceremony tell of origin. You know, clans come from above and come from the center of the earth. But um, as I continue, I'll talk about each each uh, each one to do here in a second. So, so as you look in the night sky, in that story, as Anishinaabe people, when we got lowered down, um, we uh, met that Makwa, that bear. He he is one that uh, that met that met us as a people, and there's, that's a very long story itself, and how we got lowered down by that. Uh, Grandmother spider, we, we came here on a tree, and the makwa met us halfway. And uh, makwa is the one that helped us here in this world. So we always remember, like the long time ago, makwa was so big, so huge. He was uh, a giant, a giant bear. And um, we remember his whole nation were, were of giants. So in our stories, and they, and they helped us here in this world, and also a lot of those other other manaduk. So here's uh, uh, some more um, uh, constellations, also celestial objects of the night sky. 
We have Ojig, Makwa, Bibunake, Upichi, Minawa, the bear head, Mong, Miju the, the, the water, the, uh, uh, the water panther. So we always remember Miju Biju, um, and also Madudu Swan, uh, the sweat lot constellation up there in the, in the night sky. So we, and also too, our, our um, other constellation like uh, Mishikans, uh, and the Thunderbird's Nest, the Milky Way. So we'll talk about more of those here in a second. Aji Jock, the Echo Maker. And Buju. And also, so we have a uh, each clan here in the night sky, um, Aji Jak, uh, their Ugama, Ugama do them. And, uh, we have the external and internal. The reason why they're external, and internal in the night sky, uh, we we have um, we have Mong. He uh, Mong is that uh, internal. He governs the internal of the community, of the heart, and also uh, and if you look in the night sky, if you see where uh, Mong's located. You'll see why, and also you'll see why when uh, Aji Jock is the external clan, you'll see why he's the external in the night sky. Our, our all our clan roles are in the night sky. They, the story is there. It's uh, shown to all of us every every night. And uh, Kokum Sanan, uh, a long time ago, she she when the missionary people forgot that story, she came to our people and she reminded us of of our of our way of life. So our things are never lost, you know, as long as you have a direct connection. We all have a direct connection. We're all going to do, we're all spirits. We all can communicate. We can communicate with our loved ones. You know, we were given tobacco. Utilize that tobacco. Utilize those medicine. You know, when I take that, when I make that, that tobacco out there, that uh, red willow, that red willow already knows its purpose. That red willow already knows what it's going to be used for. Every single tree out there knows what's going to take place. So we ask those spirits, as soon as I pick up that tobacco, utilize that tobacco, and I ask those spirits for help. They, they, if I ask Aji Jock, if I ask Loon, if I ask uh, my ancestors, my grandfather, grandmothers, you know, my aunts, uncles, um, we always remember those things. It's like uh, Anishinaabe people in our pipe ceremonies. We wake up in the morning, we have our sunrise ceremonies. We have those uh, manadu, those women spirits, you know, those mininewuk that stand there. We always remember those spirits and we have names for them. We have uh, a lot of different spirits. So like the bear, makwa, and, and, and now kamaku manadu. They're ogama authority and I'm the women medicine people. You know, wabazeshi, they're the hunters. They're snapping turtle, mishi cancer, head of the fish clan. You know, the philosophers. Benesi work, Kikino Magewat, their teachers. They also we have Ushkanze Oma, the artists, Mishkizabiko Oma, Makin. So we always remember um, those Manaduk, they always they teach us a lot of things. So, like here in the night sky, we see Aji Jock flying. You know, Aji Jock flies from summer to fall in the night sky. You'll see it up there, you'll see its location. We always remember Aji Jock, he goes around that uh, heart star in the night sky and he shows himself uh, in the summer and through fall. And uh, we know his location in Greek mythology. If you use an app to find his location, um, you'll see a Cygnus, you see it up there. So sent down to the earth to look for a place for Anishinaabe to reside. So when when uh, we do our, when we do that, uh, that ceremony for, for the crane and also the dance, we, uh, when we do that pipe ceremony too, we always remember we do it in the summertime. We, as a people, we come together. We have songs, like I said, about these, about, about this as a Anishinaabe people. And also he's, uh, he helped create the, the clan system, the leader of all clans, that uh, Aji Jock, the echo maker. So, and another one here is, uh, <clears throat> is uh, Mong, the loon. Up there in the night sky, the little dipper. 
as you can see that uh, point the bright bright star there that's what i talked about i talked about uh the the going home start and also odean or odean odean the gathering of hearts we have always remember those does that star up there so we always remember the location of uh of mom in the night sky we have uh uh, in the night sky, when we look at uh, the reason why I talked about external and internal, the Hmong, ego, the Hmong in our community is, is that uh, heart star. And that's the reason why you look in the night sky, you'll see uh, the loon goes around the north star in the night sky. He governs the internal. And also on the outer, we'll have uh, Hmong fly around the outer area around that north star. And that's the reason why Hmong today is the uh, is the external it governs the the the, the, um, the outside of the community. We always remember their role. It's told up. It's told up there in the night sky, that story. And also, too, uh, if we look here in our environment, you'll see uh, Hmong. You know, she uh, she's on top of the water, and she can dive into the water, and she, she governs that also. And also, uh, Aji Jock, he stands on top of the water. He sees everything around him. He governs the outside of that water. So we always remember that story uh, of, uh, of our, of our, of our uh, family, Gidu uh, Demononic. So our bloodline as a people. So, so right here we have uh, Bear Makwa. Uh, they're uh, authority and also Nandawe, medicine people. We always remember, um, always remember uh, the Nandawe people, the medicine people. That's what their their duty is. And that word bear makwa, it means uh, born from medicine. He's uh, now kamako manetu. This bear, it comes from. He was born from the earth, from the center of the earth. As Anishinaabe people, we believe that there's layers in the earth, that some beings come from above, from the fourth fourth layer, from 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 neo neo vishgadishuming, from those four layers. And also from those new uh, now come those uh, the, when it comes from the center, the bear was born from the from the from medicine. So we always remember makwa. Like I said, a long time ago, the bear was big. When the bear got uh, out of hand, Mugjuyash, uh, um, uh, Wen Abuju's brother, he uh, grabbed that bear, ripped that bear and bear nation in, into many pieces, and he threw that bear to the north, to the west, to the east, to the south. That's the reason why we have different uh, bear nations today. We always remember that story, and also remember that uh, that medicine that was given to us, that the uh, um, the migas, the misasak, Uma, we utilize those things today. And uh, th that's told in the night sky. That story. Um, and also too, we always remember the location uh, of the bear is a big dipper. You know, up there walks. He walks up there telling a telling of its story. So as a storytellers, we utilize, the best time we tell the stories is after that sun sets. We utilize that night sky. We talk about those stories up there. That's the best way to learn our stories is utilizing that that what's up there because everything's written up there. So well here here's a like I said earlier that the this, this Manadu, he taught us how to uh, gather medicine. He taught us how to fast. He taught us how to travel. I think that word Naba is like, it's like when we sleep, when we travel, when we astral plane out of our body, we dream. Um, Makwa taught us how to do that, that bear. He taught us that medicine, utilize our Manadu, our spirit. Also, uh, he helped us uh, gather medicine, like uh, helped us gather berries, also, the greens that he's eating there, the ferns, also wild onions, all those things. The bear taught us all those things. And also, he taught us how to use uh, OG Bic, the root medicine out there. We use those tea. We drink all those different tea, how to use all those willow. You know, you'll go out there in the woods, you'll see a bear. He'll be eating that red willow. He'll be eating that, you know, and the reason why he's doing that, he's gathering medicine. You know, you'll see that bear feed his young ones, those things. If you're out there, out in the woods, you watch him. You know, right there in his mouth, he has medicine. He's, he's teaching us something by watching that bear. 
we always remember that bear um, being our relative. Um, so, uh, you know, every time in my, when I when I go blueberry picking up in Canada by a, by a long lac in that area up there, you know, when we go blueberry picking that black, all, all those black bears, they left us alone, you know. So they'll eat that blueberry. It will pick all those blueberries too, alongside that black bear. They never, they never bothered, uh, never bothered me. We're growing up, um, so I always respect those money do. You know, say hey, boujou. You know, tell them, tell them when a boujou or nana boujou. That's our original greeting. The reason why we use that greeting boujou is because of when a boujou. We ask, uh, are you when a boujou? That's what we're saying. So when a boujou. Yeah, and then another thing, another thing about this uh, makwa, like what he eats, like he eats medicine, he eats all kinds of different things. So when you, when you, when you kill mus, I mean the bear, and then uh, you take the fat, you use, you make all kinds of different medicines with that bear fat. Like you could make ointments, you could just re use it like that to rub it in your body when, you do, when you're sick. And then also, he, he even kept his meat, like when you to eat it, like you, you get, he kept his meat. So when, when somebody's sick, like really sick, you have feast. So when you have feast, you ask Makwa to heal that person or whoever that eating, eating. How, how are you gonna feel with Makwa? Like if you think that if you like, uh, if you didn't like it, and then that meat won't help, won't help you. So, but if you think that it'll help you, like you think that it's gonna heal you, and then that's how it's gonna be. It's gonna heal you, like you're gonna, you're gonna get healthy, you're gonna have healthy life. But if you think that's gonna, like it's like a, like if you don't like it, then it may even make you sick, like if you eat it uh, like that. So that's what they used to say. They were, they used to warn people when they eat bear, like, you have to really, really think that it's going to help you and that's the only way it's going to help you. And then they use Mako in so many ways, just like his boss or the whole bear cup. You use that one in Medea as a Kashkibitagan. So you could use it in so many ways with that uh, Mako. He gave his, his life with so many things. He gave his medicines in so many ways. All right, here we have uh, the Martin, you know, their hunter clan. Also, they're in charge of uh, scouting, hunting, gathering, and also the Oskabazago Manituk. They're spiritual helpers. They um, they also help cultivate the land, these Manitou. The uh, the Martin, the uh, Wabazeshi, they, they uh, cultivate the land. You know, out in Michigan, the Anishinaabe people, we would grow corn, squash, beans, and also tobacco. We grow those things together and we would uh, build culvers, you know, build, build waterways around, you know, and also we would plant those items. The, the, we'd utilize the madaman, the, the corn, minoa, the squash, the uh, beans, and we'd grow tobacco around those items. And the tobacco would help, uh, help uh, keep away the bugs and insects. We always we utilize those, those uh, items as Anishinaabe people and also the Martin clan, they're, they're warriors, a warrior society, they're a hunter clan. They, they also sent messages like if you're out to have ceremony, we would send a Ushkaba Zuk. We would send a Martin clan to go out there and, uh, and uh, send them a, a, send another village a message. We're going to have ceremony. They would, they would run. They would run into a next community. Also, they would, it also in our, in our ceremonies, they would help out. They had a big role in among our people. They would, uh, and this uh, Martin, he's located in, uh, uh, in, in, the, in the Milky Way. In the Milky Way, we have uh, uh, a lot of stories up there. That's where he's located. He's running, running up and down that Mikana, that path up there. And also in the center, we have uh, in the Milky Way is the, is the uh, river. Uh, you either call it G by Z being or G by Z B. Got a phone call, sorry. Um, so we have the Martin up there, he's running alongside the river. So
So, and also we have the, in the center, we have G by Z Bing or Meshkiki Z Bing, the Ghost River or Medicine River. We have all those other, other plants up there running around the Milky Way. So uh, we have the Martin, the Martin, uh, he goes, when, when the water is frozen up there, the Martin will go and go see uh, Nemed, a sturgeon, and they, they talk, they talk to each other. Like I said earlier, when, when, uh, when those clans, when they hold each other accountable, you know, the, the, like the fish, the, the very knowledgeable uh, Manitouk, also Benesiwak, they would come there too, and they would have ceremony. So you go out in our environment today, you'll see those Manidu out there having ceremony. You know, I, one time I was sitting, uh, I was uh, fishing alongside the, the lake and I saw this, uh, this Martin, he was out there and he went diving and next thing you know, he was, he, he, was, he was splashing around in the water. You know, he was enjoying life. And I, for me, I thought that was very amazing to see, see that Martin out there enjoying his environment. You know, as I am enjoying my environment, you know, as the Anishinaabe people, I, I talk to those Manadu out there. I tell that those fish that I'm gonna I'm gonna utilize their medicine so I can grow. Hold him for a second while I put them on. So right here we have uh, Mashikans uh, located over up there by the by the North Star. Um, King of the Water Clan offered us back. Uh, to create the new land for Anishinaabe. Like uh, when uh, when the land got flooded, when um, Abuju, he utilized the turtles back to create uh, what we call today Turtle Island. That's what we're, what's what we're on today is Turtle Island. We remember its story. We remember um, G. Bai Boos. Um, we remember Pogjoyash, uh, Mogjoyash, and Wayne Abuju and that story and how that how the world got flooded. How the world came to be you know we talk about those, those story before the flood story we talk about the world that was here before in our autozocon you know autozocon is a is a part of us our autozocon is being told right now our sacred story each of each one of us have an autozocon we all have a sacred story that's being told from that nothing that became something so you know we call those autozocon go manitouk those uh, spirits we talk about those those money duk. and also we always remember a uh, the um, um, in, in in the north. You know, we talk about uh, that someday that the north star will change. One of one of those stars right there you see on Mishikans will be the north star, and everything will go around that star. You know, our, we we as a people. We utilize that as a teaching that we that we 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 move around as a people. We migrate. We go to that hunting area. We go to this hunting area. We go to that hunting area, and we always respect where we go, because uh, a long time ago, as a people, we would, we would gather as family in the winter months. Let's say that uh, we're going to go hunt in uh, Quebec. You know, as a family, we'll, we'll gather, we'll build our lodges, and we'll hunt that in that area. Then after that, when that area is a uh, we we'll respect the money do in that area. We'll move to another area so that so those money do can gather again in that one area that we're hunting. We'll move to another area. So we always utilize that these stars as teachings up in the night sky as a people. We always remember that we as a people we move around and also up there that north star moves around. Our community moves around. That north star always changes in the night sky. So so as a people we witness those things as a, uh, th those in our stories. So, so this is located by the, the little dipper in the night sky, the Mishikans. So. so right here we have uh, Moose, um, located Pegasus. So we have the Hoof Clan, Oshkanje, Manitou, the artists. So this, uh, I'm gonna go back here to one second. When it comes to the fish clan, so when we utilize the fish clan, we always remember that um, they're, they're, uh, they're, uh, they help us out as, as a people. So, so uh, the fish clan, they, um, they're uh, thinkers and uh, philosophers. They're teachers and alongside with uh, Benesiwak. 
they uh, help out uh, our people um, in this in this in this place. So we have Moose here. Uh, they're the artists. They uh, they're the ones that written on 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 uh, on everywhere. If you see all those rock paintings around Ishnabia King, in our in uh in our areas where we live, Hoof Clan, you know all those Hoof Clan, Ad, you know uh, Adik, you know Omashkus, Moose, you know all those uh, different Hoof Clans are they're artists. They they draw. They're the ones that write on birch bark scrolls. They're the ones that write on the rocks. They they use a uh, bird poop, beaver blood. And they use uh, iron oxide or any kind of uh, oxide from the earth and they mix them together and they write the story of our people on rocks. So there's a reason why we have about uh, 200, you know, two, uh, out through uh, Quebec, Ontario, Minnesota, Michigan, we all have a lot of rock paintings everywhere. And uh, they talk about our stories, talk about our constellations. Um, so there's a lot of rock paintings out there in our, in, in our, in our in our territory as Anishinaabe people, the Cree, the, the Ojibwe, the Odawa, the, um, the Potawatomi, you know, our people, the Abenaki, the Mi'kmaq, all those people, we all have a story, Anape, Illinois, all those different people, we have uh, a lot of stories of us as a people, so, and uh, Hoof Clan is the, that wrote our stories, there are teachers too, so, and also too, uh, uh, Moose is uh, located, comes up very high in, in the fall time. You'll see Moose standing up there. You'll see that uh, Pegasus is like a box shaped like a constellation. There's like four corners of it. And in the center of, of Pegasus, you'll see that heart star again. We call another heart star between Pegasus, the, the Moose constellation. The Moose will have a heart. And we always remember that uh, we, we use the moves, Manadu. He replenishes our Manadu, our spirit. And that's the reason why Anishinaabe people, we utilize this Manadu for we We always treat the spirit with a lot of respect. We use every single part of this, this Manadu, even right down to the eyes. You know, and we're growing up, uh, even today, we, we, when we cook that moose, we cook that moose head. We eat the brains, we eat the tongue, We'd eat the nose, you know, and those are all good. And also too, we'd utilize the bones of that moose, we'd grind it up, turn it into medicine. We would add other medicine, we would burn it. And also too, if we don't use it, we will hang that rest of the moose part like a man out in the woods. As Anishinaabe people, we did those things. What if we had any leftovers of that moose and we had no use for it? We would make a man out of it. We take all the all the moose out of all the years that we utilize. We go out there. We we, we talk about that money do you know, and as a people, we before we go hunting, we would smoke our pipes. We would uh, smoke our pipes. We would ask. We would ask. We smoke. We talk to all those Bido Demonic, all those clans, and we pointed towards the uh, Ushkanzo, the Hoof Clan, the moose, and and we would get the one that smoked the pipe with us. We always remember the story that that moose that smokes his pipe, smoke, smoke the pipe with us. That's the one we'll get. He's the one that will charge at us. So, as I was hunting when I was younger with my with my father and also with my uncle, they just killed any kind of moose. You know, I saw a group of five moose out there in the woods. I said, "How come you're not shooting one of those moose?" And they tell me he's not the one. So then they go to another group and they said, "All right, we got another moose here. We got seven moose out there." He said, they're not the one. Then eventually they come to a, a group of three moose, then that big bull moose would charge charge us. And then they would pick up their gun and they would wait and wait and then they shoot that moose. And, and they said, that's the one. That's the one that smoked the pipe. So we always remember a, a, a teaching, you know, when we come, we, we, always, we always have feast. We always put food out, tobacco, gifts. We smoke that pipe. We honor that money do. We always honor all those money do in that way. So we always remember the, the bell of that moose right here. Is, uh, as Anishinaabe people, we hang that. Uh, we yeah, utilize this right here. After we kill that moose, we take this part right here, we hang it in a tree. We always remember 
where, where the moose up there in the night sky running. So you put tobacco in there. Yep, tobacco. Yeah, you put tobacco inside, but after you cut it off, you cannot touch it on the ground. You cannot touch on the ground, and then after you hang, then you put your tobacco, and then uh, whatever you want to put offering, then you could tie it, then you hang it on a tree. So you ask that moose to come back alive. So he says, come come back alive so we could we could have more moose. We, we don't run out of any, any, any more any, any moose. So that's that's what they ask. And also after you you uh, clean it, what you don't want to use, you go put it out in the woods in the green place. You clean the place and then you get the, what you call those, uh, those branches, green branches like uh, you put them there and then uh, you put the, the leftovers there and then you just cover them after showing that most that you you respect what you have that you're happy what you have that it gives you life so that's what they used to do yeah. also as Anishinaabe people we utilize the moose for many things like uh, we use we utilize its hide we'd make uh, blankets out of it you know we would take um, Moose feathers and put other would make um, would uh, utilize those feathers would put the moose hide together and make a big uh, blanket that that fabric you know when, when we utilize it we bring brain tan it would be very soft and we sew it together alongside with uh, with goose feathers or or other feathers within that blanket within that moose hide and be a very warm item to utilize and as Anishinaabe people when we go to our ceremonies like Medewi one we would uh, utilize that moose hide. That was one of our, our also, or bear hide or any other hide, buffalo hide, elk hide, or, or caribou hide. Um, we utilize those things. That's what was our traditional blankets within our ceremony. And we would write, write on those things. We would utilize the, the blood of uh, other animals. We would write the story on, on those uh, hides as a people, and we'd bring those into a ceremony. Right. So today we utilize blankets as a symbolization. Uh, the shawls, the, 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 all those stories of our people, uh, we utilize those things within the, um, the, within the animals as a people. So, so we always remember those things. I always remember the moose and uh, we use them for our drums, for, uh, we use them for our ceremonial rattles. So. so right here we have a uh, wabanum, jawanum, Nagabianum and Giwetinanum. Uh, in the morning, we have Wabanum, the sunrise, Mukaham Gizis, Mushma Sanan, Wasitamahaki. We always remember Mushma uh, Sanan, you know, he shines on us every day. And also, we always remember uh, the path of the, of the sun. We utilize the path of the moon, the Basage, the Basage, the path of the sun. And we, uh, that's our, our, our road here in this world. Uh, we always remember those things like Wabanung. Wabanung is when you first open your eyes, Ang is direction. So Wabanung, when you open our eyes, when we first see the world, when we're babies. So we always remember that that direction. That's where life starts. That's where ceremony starts. That's when the, uh, that ceremony will always start in that direction, in the east. The reason why, as Anishinaabe people, we always start our ceremonies in that direction. And we always exit in the west, Nagabi Anam. So we always remember the spirits in each direction. We remember the stories. We remember when Abu Ju, you know, and how, how these things were came to be. We remember when Abu Ju's grief and how uh, he opened that doorway in, a long time ago, Anishinaabe people. We lived forever, you know, Gagi Ge, uh, here on Aki. They live here in this world forever. And when Abu Ju, he's the one that um, opened that, that, that doorway. And when Abu Ju, he had a, he had a son and that, his son got sick and died. And that grief that when Abu Ju, that sadness that he had it, uh, he, he was because of, because of him, he uh, opened that doorway. So we always remembered the teaching as a people. We always remember Gi Wei, Gi Wei Tinanung, the going home, the Gi Wei, if an elder tell you, Maja Gi Wei, they tell you, go home, you know, 
that that's what they're telling you. So you always remember if you wait in a nung, going home when. So and wa nung and jawa nung is that stage of learning, reproducing. So as we're walking in this world, we we learn, you know, we uh we see we see life, we experience life, we experience the ceremony because as Anishinaabe people, every day is ceremony. Every day is sacred. We have niao, our body is a sacred item, like a pipe. You take care of this, this body you have, this uh, sacred item. You take care of it. It's your vessel. You know, you, you take, when you take those things that were given to you, if you're going to eat uh, sugar pop, that's going to kill you, that, that cause you a lot of inflammation. But if you listen to what the manadu offer you, the medicine out there, like the bear, the berries, the vegetation, you eat those things, you, you, you feed your, your body good things, you become healthy. You'll run longer, you'll, you'll dance longer, you'll, you'll uh, live longer as a people. So we always remember those things. So Jawa Nung, we experience those things. And uh, Nagabia Nung, as we uh, get older, things start to slow down. That's what that word means, Nagabia Nung. Things start to slow down. Life, we get old, and, and that's how things, are, things are, are in this world. So Nagabia Nung. That's when, uh, and then we have gi wait in anung is when we get old and we return, our body returns to the earth. And then we kind of, when we, when we can no longer chew the raspberry no more, then it's time to go home. That's when we know it's time to go home. And our people were very known to live very old, our elders. We were very known to be uh, at least 100, 130, 140. You know, when, uh, when there was Jesuits, when they, when they, uh, uh, when they document us, they see our elders. They see how old our people were, and how we took care of our elders, how we how we hold them to the highest regards. The gichiaye, great beings. Minawa mindemoyak, the the ones that hold our community together, and the key wins it, the the elder old men, and how they help take care of the community and stuff like that. So we always remember their role as a people. We hold those beings to the highest regards. And also, too, this is our road in life. You know, like when, when the sun, sun is shining, the sky is red. And when the sun's out, it's, it's yellow. And when, when the sun sets, it turns dark out there. So we always remember those, the, the, the night sky. We always, that's the reason why we have colors in these directions. And also, when, it, when the moon comes out, you know, when, the, when the moon shines at night, You'll, you'll see you'll see that moon is white in the night sky and there's everything in that direction is reason why we have the day we have the morning the day the evening and also the the, the, the night so so this ceremony plays out every day in, in in our in our existence as a people we hold this stuff to the highest regards and when we smoke our pipes we talk about these things you know when we do pipe ceremonies we talk about all those things we talk about that Mushma Sanan, we talk about Kukma Sanan, we talk about all those those spirits that stand in all those directions. We talk about uh, we talk about when a uh, uh, um, father over there, Bhagjimu is this. Uh, we always remember him. So we talk about when uh, a mother in, in the night up there, you know, where she is now. So, so we talk about those Manaduk and uh, we talk about. And also, when we do our 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 our, uh, our funeral services, we talk about this too. We talk about the Gido de Manonik, our plans. As we as we uh, get ready to go back home, we had that four day fire. Those are our clans, our bloodlines, the Gido de Manonik. They're the ones that uh, help us back home. They come, they come and get us, and they help us back home. We we on that four day fire, we we walk all over this world again. We pick our we pick ourselves up. We pick up our hair, our, our dead skin. We pick up all those things. We take all those things with us as Anishinaabe people. And if you listen closely to what was said in that ceremony, you'll listen to all those things. And as a people, we'll have our clan. You know, that's the reason why you'll see within our, after we send somebody off home, we'll have the, the, the clan marker uh, facing towards the ground where they're at. And uh, you'll always remember, we'll have a, some people will do their mother and fathers, you know, clan marker facing towards the ground. And then we'll meet those beings again. We'll meet our ancestors. So we'll meet our ancestors up there and they'll help us back home. 
and that's a very long story itself that's told in the language and we remember uh all those money do like uh when abu is a brother that stands there in the north now uh jibai boos the, the ghost rabbit remember those uh those money do where all their where, where they're placed today so and also too this uh represents uh as people here we have uh, um uh the red people, you know, the indigenous who we are as Anishinaabe people, we have the oriental people, the yellow people, we have the black people, you know, we have the white people. And uh, as today, as people today, we're very mixed, you know, some will have, sometimes we'll have uh, white people, red people, or you'll have uh, maybe somebody standing right in the center. Maybe somebody today will have all those races within the, within themselves. You know, some, sometimes people will have two, some, some people will have, uh, those lineage within, within themselves. So that's how we are as a people today. And that prophesies in our prophecy that we, we're going to become that, that we're all going to stand in the center as a people someday. So we're all we're all related as a people. We all have different teachings. And uh, you could do yeah, say anything else about this. Yeah. Then also like uh, those when it's time to go home, like they say like uh, Oh, she, 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 she died like her, but it's, we don't die. Our body just uh, go back on the earth, but, and then our spirit goes to another world. We just go to another world. So we wait, we wait for each other there. So that, and then uh, also like this, uh, we kind of, don't have much time. Like, uh, there's another story about this uh, this thing here, but I don't know if you want to do it. You can look at uh, it. Oh, oh, we yeah. have lots of things. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about it next time. Yeah. So right here we have the seven grandfather teachings. Um, we always remember the seven grandfather teachings. Uh, like I said, the, the story varies from community to community. Um, I respect all the stories for this. We also, oh, remember uh, when Abu Zhu and Odeyaman, um, when it comes to the story here, Odeyaman was that uh, that boy that when Abu Zhu taught. And when Abu Zhu saw the power of this boy, and uh, when Abu Zhu wanted to know where, where he learned, learned all this stuff, and he and when that boy told when Abu Zhu, because when, uh, when his evil Manadu, when his evil Manadu came to his village and ate his people, um, day money defeated that that evil being. Uh, he utilized all these all these things that he that he taught from those uh, from those money duk. So we always remember the teachings and we and uh, when Abuja was really amazed, you know, that that he utilized these these these, these things in, with, within what was happening. So uh, so day man that when that evil being came to his village, uh, that evil being uh, started eating his people in a. Uh, Odeyaman saw his mother, his father, his brother and sister got eaten. And Odeyaman was crying and he wanted some way to how to help his people. So Odeyaman, he utilized all those, those manadu things that he was given. The love, the truth, the respect, the wisdom, humility, courage, and bravery. And, he, and he, uh, he utilized that love. He utilized that truth. He utilized those things. So he asked that manadu, if, you know, I'm very tasty. If you can catch me, you'll understand how tasty I am. So, so that evil being chased him, and uh, oh, Damon said, "You can't catch me, you know, because you're too big, you're too fat. You have to puke everybody out and be able to catch me." So that Manadu did that. He puked everybody out, and uh, with that wisdom, you know, with that humility, with that courage, that with that bravery, he uh, he was able to help his people. He helped his people in that way. He uses Odea's heart, and. Um, he saw that people got freed in that being. So when Bujo said, I mean, uh, Ode Money said, um, you can, you're light now, you can catch me. And Ode, Ode, Ode Money, he ran, he ran everywhere. Lake stream, he ran up to the top, tallest mountain. And uh, he led that being away. He helped his people. So he defeated that being with his heart, with his Ode, with love, with truth. So, and uh, when Bujo told him, where did you learn these things? And uh, Odey Money said he, he traveled up there and he went into that lodge in the eastern direction. He sat down 
with that first manadu, that first manadu taught him, that grandfather taught him, that gave him that first rock to sin it, love, and gave him teachings. And again, the second truth, gave him a rock. Another manadu gave him respect, you know, and wisdom. Then as he returned, as he was in that lodge, he lived a lifetime. When he got to the last grandfather, Hudayman said he was a, an old man. He had a lot of wisdom. He had, he had that final rock. So he, gave, he was given all those rocks. And the reason why today we have them in our, in, our, in our water drum. He taught us those things as a people. So and he came, when he woke up, he woke up as a boy again, but he retained all that knowledge. And he was able to utilize the, that money do. As a people, we, we were given those teachings to utilize, to live this way each day. And there's a lot of power when it comes to that when we do our ceremonies, when we use our day, our heart. You remember all these things when we uh, do our, like when we do our, uh, our medevi when we utilize these things. You, you have to be these things here in, a, in that ceremony. So, so we always remember, remember our, our stories as a people. And these are told in the night sky up there. We call either the North Star, Odeyanang, or Bhagnugi Egypt, the hole in the sky. So that's where Odey Man, that's where he went. He went through that hole in the sky. He went to that, to that uh, North Star or the Heart Star, Odeyanang, where those grandfathers were, were sitting. Did you do? Yeah, was there anything else? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So I always remember those stories as, as a people. Like I said, the story varies from community to community. Right here is a, a, a birch bar scroll. You know, this is also in the night sky. We also have, we'll have our Medeli one. Our, our, our sweat up there in the night sky, we'll have the, um, the, the our sweat lodge. I mean, our, our Medeli our, our Medea lodge up there in the night sky. And we'll have those three stars up there like that. And we'll have that lodge. We'll have the Ushkabazugo Manitu up. Ushkabazugo Manitu, you know, the leader here. And then we'll have all those clan spirits in the night sky up there standing around the lodge. We'll have from the, from the east to the west. So we now, so too, this is our, our uh, in the night sky, we talk about the trail in our lodge. So if you can see, if you go to the ceremony, you'll know that I'm, what I'm talking about here. You run that trail. So, and that's how those three stars are up in the night sky. So, so as people, we, we wrote this in our birch bar scrolls, you know, the, the hoof clan, the artists, they write a lot of, a lot of these things as a people. And um, we always remember these, uh, these these objects to us. They mean a lot. So, so right here we have uh, the Orion constellation, the Wenabujo and Enabujo constellation. He's pointing at the Bug Nogi Jik hole in the sky. This is our. This is where we come from. This is where our clans come from. We have those seven stars up there. That's uh, so we our clans. We have Adi Jock. He was came down here. Mong and Nishinabe people were lowered down. And they, they, they met down, they came down that, that tree in um, uh, the now Kamako Manitou, uh, the, the bear, he, he met us halfway. Now that's a very long story itself, you know, of how we came into this world. So we tell, we talk about that in ceremony. So some of you writing on, on the screen. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, as a people, we always remember our stories, so. So right here we have a Mishkiwatik standing right here, the eagle feather, with a lot of ribbons, colors that uh, we always remember. Uh, uh, this right here plays an important role that we have. There was a Mitikwago Manitouk. They they protected Gitin Shinabe a long time ago. The the Manitou were very angry at us because we were living. We're no longer. We were killing each other. We were destroying all the life. We were building great cities here on Turtle Island. Uh, as reason why here in North America we have a lot of our abandoned, uh, uh, we have all these huge city mounds, everything are abandoned, our, our old way of living um, because we're be becoming greedy. And uh, the eagle, um, the eagle was told to, to fly around and find who was living minimum Matisi win. And uh, sure enough, uh, the eagle saw uh, Odeyaman out there living minimum Matisi win. And that the uh, um, and the eagle, he flew back as a thunder, thunder being to this world and he destroyed everything. But he didn't destroy Gitinishinabe. Those winds are living in the to see what. So we always remember those mythic work, those trees, they protected us when that great storm came. 
That's the reason why Anishinaabe people will have that Mishkiwatik standing up there, that tamarack tree. Or some places people will use a cedar tree. We'll have that tamarack tree. When that thunder beings come by, when they fly, you'll see that tamarack tree standing. And they'll say, oh, those Anishinaabe people remember, remember that story of us, you know, and how things came to be. So we always honor those things. Like I said, when we have the, uh, the thunder being, so I'll continue here. Do you want to share anything else about this? Yeah. No, sorry. We only have a few minutes. Okay. So we have uh, uh, the thunder being constellation right here. Like I said, when earlier that other picture of uh, Jupiter, um, up there, the, we'll have Jupiter. We'll, this is a thunder being constellation and a nice guy. And also, too, we all have the, the thunder being's nest. So I'll show you a better photo here. So location above uh, uh, Scorpio, and this is a uh, summer, uh, spring to fall. As you, so the, this constellation is shining in the night sky right now. So spiritual beings that travel, travel the cosmos. As a people, we remember, uh, uh, somebody's writing on the screen. So, so, we, uh, <clears throat> so we always remember those things in the night sky. So, um, so right here, that's how it looked like here. This is a photograph we took in the spring constellation right here in Hinkley, Minnesota. So we have uh, Anabinesi Wook. Meanwhile, we'll have that right here is this Thunder Beings nest. And right here will be, uh, it'll be Jupiter. So, so uh, we always remember a Thunder Being flying up there in the night sky. Anabinesi Wook, the Thunder Beings. Um, we always remember uh, the one Thunder Being that resides in the West with his father, uh, the, the He's that first uh, first low low storm to come. So we always remember that. We also remember the, the moth being the, the 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 lice of the thunder being. So so right away when we when we see a lot of moth, we'll know that there's a thunderstorm coming. So we'll see a lot of moth flying flying towards us. And you'll feel the change in the air. So we understand our environment as Anishinaabe people. We understand those beings that come first. So. That uh, low storm. We we'll remember uh, Magriash, uh, Wainabuzu's brother, and how he resides with his with his father over there in the west. So, so those stories are told in the night sky. Uh, right here we have uh, the thunder beings' nest. Right here, so we we'll always remember those those stories. So right here we have uh, the thunder beings' nest again, but it's utilized as Madudu Swan, the sweat loss constellation. We'll always remember the sweat loss constellation up there in the night sky. So Madudu Swan rises in the east where life begins. So, so the spring constellation. So Zigwan, Zigwan, Hanangu with the So, so we have Miju Biju in the winter sky. This is where how Miju Biju will look like in the night sky right here. Miju Biju uh, gave us a lot of medicine. He gave us a. Uh, a lot of teachings. So as Anishinaabe people, when we have our water ceremonies, when we have the day, we talk about this uh, being right here and also the copper, the Mishkwabik, that we gave us the copper a long time ago. We gave that to Kwewuk, gave that to Nindemoyuk, the, the, um, gave it to that woman a long time ago, that copper. He, uh, when he when he came out, when Anishinaabe people were going to ceremony in Bawating a long time ago, this one woman, in her, in her tribe that were well known to build uh, these uh, really nice wee bossy jiman, these really nice canoes. Uh, her people went out, or the Ushkabur gave them uh, a, a notice that there was going to be a ceremony and to bring their, their ceremonial, ceremonial items. And this woman, nobody, uh, a lot of people knew her that she she, um, she befriended uh, Monadu when she was a little girl. She was with that water spirit a long time ago. And uh, and that Manadu helped her out and gave her medicine. And she, uh, Miju Biju, he, he gave her, you know, instead of putting that, um, those, uh, those uh, Manadu to waste, he brought those Manadu to her, the copper, the snake that, that, that were destroyed, their bodies turned into copper. So, and Miju Biju gave us that medicine to utilize. There's a reason where, where copper comes from, from Miju Biju, and also those water beings. So right here we have the water spirit, um, Miju Biju right here written on a on rock. This is uh, located in Agua Lake, Lake Superior. So we have to uh, pedal there. And this is that story uh, that I was talking about that's written on the rock. So as, so as Anishinaabe people. So we always remember, there's a lot of rock paintings like this that are told. 
We have those snakes, we have those medicines, we, we always honor those spirits, we sing about those spirits, we have songs about those spirits. So, and also, too, uh, you want to talk about the sugar bush? And also, well, every time you do something like uh, every spring, you, you have a feast, you put the feast in. And ask that Bishop Bishop to take care of you. And then also you could put the offerings in the water. When when uh, when uh, the lakes are start to open, then you make a, a small <clears throat> a small boat. Then you put you put all your food in there and offerings. Then after you push them in the middle of the lake, feeding that uh, Bishop Bishop the spirits to take care of you. So nothing will happen to you when you when you go in the water or if your kids want to go swim. So nothing happened to them. Or if you get, if anybody goes uh, fishing or something like that or go wild rising, like you 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 ask them to take care of you, ask them to take care of your family. And then also when you when you when you uh, before you go collect the. Before you do sugar bush, you also feed him again, and then uh, you ask him like you have to ask permission if you could get some sap water, so you could use it all year round. So that's what that's what you do also. Like you give him offerings, you put the, you feed him, and give him tobacco. Asking for healthy life to give to put medicine in that. Uh, that uh, that syrup that you're gonna make, so that way you, that that way it will help you. Like your syrup will become a medicine. So I remember one time, one time uh, me and my, I mean the whole family went wall rising, but we we make we always make kashke uh, like we put offerings, in the in the in the big kashke with tobacco. And then we sing it, we get the big rock and then we sing that uh, the offering in the middle of the lake. So we did that. And then one time uh, my husband and then with my other son, he went with and then uh, there was me and Mishike. There was another canoe with my, my son and daughter. And then uh, we went rising. So Mishike, like uh, my younger son, he was pushing. He was pulling, and then I uh, was I was doing the rising. Then uh, all of a sudden, like I happened to look back, and then all of a sudden, like I see him that he was ready to fall in the water. But and I see him like uh, then I hear then I hear him, like hey, 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 like he says something like that. Then he was sitting inside the canoe. So he looked at me, he says, I swear that I was going to fall in the water. But feels like something grabbed me and put, put me back in the canoe, he says. So and I said, I seen that. So while we're talking, you could see that spirit like come up and then dive again. So we put the bag on say, me and Christ for taking care of us. So that's how strong it is when you put those offerings with the spirits when you do something. You always have to put offerings when you do something. So the spirit will take care of you. So nothing happened to, to you. That's a, that's a missionary way when you do something, like when if you want to do something, for, something like go rising or do anything, like you always put your offering. Right here we have uh, Nemet, the Sturgeon, located in the Milky Way. We always remember Nemet. This is a very powerful ceremonial item within our ceremony in Ameh. It talks about our family, it talks about generation. So it is located in the Milky Way. Yeah, and Ameh swims up there in the G by uh, Z B, the Ghost River. When the, in, the, in the Milky Way, we have two roads, one on the bottom, one above. And we talk about the, the river in the center. And when we go back home, that's the road that we walk back home. And uh, Mikana. Uh, Mikanak, he made he made those those trails on on the side, and also uh, Negig, the, the the otter, and also Wabazinashi, um, the the, um, the the Martin, and also uh, 
We have, I also remember uh, Neme swims up there and in the center stands you and those seven, seven stars. You stand in the center. We have our generations back there. We have our parents, grandparents, and our great grandparents. It's our generations that are behind us. In the center, we stand there and we have always think about our generation before us, our children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. We always remember those things. We always remember the seven generations as a people. And those things are our are, are, are power to us. Our Gidu de Manonik, our, our Manadu, our clans. Like when we do a ceremony, we always talk about um, our family, Gitinishinabe. You talk about your mother's, the mother's family. You talk about their clan. You talk about your father's, father's side of the family. You talk about their clans. And you talk about your future generation as a people. That's the reason why I said as a people, we always honored mother and father's clan. We, it's really important to know their story and to know their Arazo Khan. When we do our ceremonies, we talk about those things. Like I'll talk, when, I, when I'll do a ceremony, I'll talk about my mother, talk about her family, talk about uh, my father's side and his family. You know, we invite those rules, money do into our, into our, uh, into our, our lives. So, and we talk about our ancestors. We always remember our clans. We call them in. We utilize that language that was given to us. And all those clans out there, the ones that the ones that gave us our language, you know, the the bear, the moose, the the, the Benesiwuk, you know, we learn all those things, like uh, like how Pagriyash learned. Like I said earlier, Pagriyash was the was the the sound one. He learned from his environment. He learned how to sing. He taught us those things. That's the reason why we have bear songs, we have moose songs, we have bird songs. We have all those different types of songs because um, Magjayash, he sat out there for many years and he watched his environment and he brought those things to Gitanishinabe. So, so we have Jibai Mikana, Mishkiki Mikana, Jibai Zibing. That's how it looked like in this guy, those roadways up there. Another photograph, another photograph here. We have an otter in the gig. Uh, he swims, slides around on the path of souls, the river. So otter will, will swim will slide on his belly towards the river. He'll climb up again. He'll slaughter back back, back down. And I'll have uh, Martin. He'll run around the, the river here and he'll go meet the, the sturgeon and also the salmon and what also all those other beings. So, so right here we have Wawate, Dancing Spirit, Northern Lights. Our uh, relatives dance up there in the night sky. And sometimes our relatives, you know, we have uh, G-Bai ceremonies in the winter months that we invite our relatives to dance with us. We have feasting ceremonies. We have, uh, and also we have, uh, we also do ceremonies with our loved ones that have passed on. We'll have G-Bai ceremonies that we'll, we'll um, like, uh, like there's a Madei G-Bai ceremony. We'll, we'll initiate those that still want to get initiated that have passed on. So we'll have uh, honor ceremonies for, for our loved ones. We'll have a lot of different gifting ceremonies. We'll have uh, knowledge ceremonies. As a people, and we always remember these things told in a nice sky like this. So we always remember their stories as a people. And right here is uh, Ojig the Fisher, the Big Dipper, located in the night sky that talks about the seasonal changes. So right here we have Ojig. He went up to the sky. A long time ago, Anishinaabe people, we witnessed the ice age here in North America a long time ago. When the winter maker, he came down, he tried to blow a sacred breath. Because he was angry at Gitin Nishinabe. And uh, the, the winter maker couldn't blow his sacred breath because those Manidu, the Benesiwok, were singing their sacred song. And those uh, Manidu, they um, pushed his sacred breath away. And, uh, and he came down and he took those, those Manidu, those birds, he brought them to the sky world. And Ojig, his son, uh, his son was cold and the Nishinabe people were dying and a lot of people were suffering. And uh, those beings said, oh, we're going to go get those, those Manadu back so they can sing their sacred song. At this time, Anishinaabe people, we witnessed uh, the world got colder and colder, and we got pushed to the south. So, and uh, we always remember this being up there plays out in the night sky. We remember uh, in, the, in, the, in, in the fall time, you'll see Ojig right there. In the springtime, you'll see him up there. So we always remember uh, his location up there um, in, the, in the north. Northern Hemisphere. So this is the Big Dipper right here going around the uh, Little Dipper in the North Star. So and eventually um, Ojig frees the Manidu. 
the spirits of Ben Esiok, they sang their sacred song. The, the world got warmer. The ice melted. And the Anishinaabe people, we moved alongside the East Coast from right down from, uh, we moved along the East Coast up here to where we're at today. So, so we always remember those things of the night sky. Right here is a oxide, a red oxide painting. This is over in Hedgeman Lake in Minnesota. We all have Bugno Gijik, a seven stars there. We'll have Wintermaker or Wainabujo standing. We'll have uh, uh, the, uh, the um, Mijo Bijou, and we'll have Moose right there, standing right there, and we'll have those stars, and we'll have Anishinaabe people on canoe right there. So a lot, a lot of stories in our rock paintings of the people. So right here we have uh, uh, Nagach, Nagachi Anung, the prophecy star. As Anishinaabe people, we talk about uh, about this uh, Migas. We talk about this. Uh, talk about that. Uh, how the Migas rose out of the ocean. Uh, that happens every seventy-six years for us Anishinaabe people. We remember its story. How the Migas rose and traveled across the sky. And we know we know that star as a uh, Halley's comet. It, it rises every seventy-six years, and it flies across the sky. And we, we follow that star as a people. We always remember that star coming, the prophecy star, and also a long tail star, Lazuit. We have a lot of stars, a lot of objects. We have uh, another one, a Chiguan, you know, like a meteorite, a Chiguan, a meteorite in the night sky. So we have uh, Wasidaki, a Venus. You know, like I said, we. Uh, we recognize uh, Venus as the morning star in the morning. And also we know it as the evening star, Nagabi Enum. And also too, we know it as a, as a, a woman star in the night sky, Ikwe Enum. So we always remember Venus. And that Ikwe Enum shines in the night sky uh, for, for nine months, um, teaching us of the, of, the, of the bearing cycle when a woman holds a child. So we always remember that that uh, that teaching. So uh, we remember this teaching, and also too we remember uh, when Ikwe Nung and when Mars is up there, we call Misko Nene when Mars is shining up there in the night sky. Uh, we always remember when they, when they're when they're together up there in the night sky. We remember that we we do ceremonies at that time. We uh, we remember as a people when people get married, it's Ga Gay when we get married through the pipe or through forever. You, you never, you guys are gonna be together forever. So usually we, when, that, when we get married forever, we, uh, we give tobacco to that elder, say we wanna get married forever. Then you uh, pass that tobacco and then the elder says, come back within a year. And then you come back within a year and, you, and then the elder will talk to uh, the couple and say, are you guys ready to be together forever? You guys have any other, other judgments or resentments to each, or towards each other? You guys wanna really do this? And uh, usually, if there's some regret, if there's uh, some hesitation, then the elder won't, uh, won't marry you because there's hesitation. But if there's no hesitation, then you go ahead and marry you forever, gagige, forever, you know, forever, forever married. So, so, um, and if you, uh, so we always remember that as Anishinaabe people, we utilize those, those objects in the night sky up there, so. Right here is a Tipaga Gizis Manidu, a Kokmasana Manidu with the 13 moons. Oh, yeah. So we have 13 moons up there. So we always remember those 13 times uh, 28 is uh, 364 plus our birthday, 365 days in a year. So we have Mushmasana. So I'm going to end it there right now. So. Wow. Uh, Ogi Mawab. Uh, and uh, that was incredible. Um, it's something that I have been wanting to learn about for as long as I can remember when I first learned about my clan, the, the Mishikan, and, and knowing that that was part of our responsibility was uh, these teachings. There's so much information there and uh, just that little bit that you shared, it connects to so many things that I've been made aware of and things that I've never even heard. And um, I think that is the uh, purpose of today for all of us um, to, to be exposed to these teachings that you know, have been part of our way of life for generation upon generation. And uh, thank you to both of you for carrying on that responsibility 
to to hang on to these and, and to, to be able to share them with this community. Uh, this is our third major um, talk uh, and every talk has increased with the number of people who have registered and, and, and um, been able to participate. So I want to thank the community for listening. You know, it's my teaching that the, you know, your hearing, your listening is as important as the speaking or just as important or, or maybe more important because of, we have two ears and one mouth. Um, incredible, incredible sharing teachings, uh, the responsibilities that you have. Uh, I have so much respect for you both. Um, from my heart to yours, thank you on behalf of this community and um, you could, <laughs> there's already 49 messages in the chat that I missed just within me sharing that little bit. A um, lot of thanks. Um, I just wanted to say to everybody who's here that I did post the link. I'll post it again in a moment. Um, if you are interested and want to continue learning, we've already talked to uh, Ogi Mawab and, and Bawanabekwe and if that they can come back and maybe in six months or maybe during the winter when we can hear some of those uh, um, at Sokonic and, and expose some of those ancient ones uh, during the, that correct time. So um, yeah, there's um, your, their email addresses for you guys to reach out. If anybody wants to host them, I think the more opportunities we can make for these kinds of messages and sharing and and reinforcing over and over over and over so it's not just something that we know it's something that we live by um, i certainly want to incorporate what you have just shared into my life i'm going to review this for those who have asked for the recording we will be posting it we're in the works like this is just three months in the making of, of you know this work and, and we're going to keep building with you. You know, it's not just our speakers, incredible elders. It's not just um, the team that's been working so diligently to make these things happen. But it's, it's all of you who are here right now that make up our community. Um, thank you for being a part of this and listening. And uh, yeah, the fact that there's still like 200 people here <laughs> speaks to the power of your words. So what we do have a couple minutes left. Uh, I think we'll open it for just a couple of questions. Um, I did see one question earlier, uh, and and I didn't want to address it, but we'll, we'll, we'll hand it over to you, uh, Ogi Mawab and Bawana Bikwe. And it was, um, can, if you are bear clan, can you eat bear? <laughs> My husband used to, because, uh, because it helps you, he doctors you. When, when you're sick and then you when you have feast, get you get the heal from this from bear eating it. So he was bear. Yeah. And he ate bear. Yeah. And it was for a specific purpose, right? Yeah. To to heal. Yeah. That's a great answer. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I had uh, trouble, as you know, but want to be great pronouncing your name and. Um, what's what's interesting about your name is that uh, the that mermaid, those teachings I learned long, long time ago. I don't even remember, like maybe 10, 11, maybe 12 years ago, but only briefly I heard. And then I've never heard anybody else with that name. So I imagine the responsibilities that you have too. You are mostly quiet, but I know that uh, um, you have raised a good son there and uh but I can imagine you have some incredible responsibilities as well, given that given that name. Yeah, I raised I raised four sons, so I teach them I teach them uh, the spiritual stuff. So all all the all four of them. So sometimes I would sit with the Mishike, and sometimes I would sit with the Okinawa. Sometimes there's three of us. So that's what we do. And then also I want to mention that we're probably, we published, we're going to publish some books. One will come out by the end of this month. 
It's on a good mines. Good mines uh Papusa. In my in Saskatchewan or Manitoba, I don't know how. Some place. So that's uh that's what we uh that's me, what we're doing. Me Gwich. Well you let us know when that book comes out. Let me know and I'll post it to the community. Um, I noticed that just from today, we had about 40 people register to receive further emails. There's still 180 people here. I, I encourage, if, if you haven't already, please click that link and just consent that we can send you emails because we're not going to use the Eventbrite registration. Um, if you've only registered on Eventbrite, we're not going to use that because we want your permission. Um, and that's the way uh, we've been taught to operate, to continue to send you emails. So uh, I, there's a good question here from Sadia. Uh, it sounded like each, uh, just wondering about the clan, it sounded like each has a role. So does this mean a group of people belongs to a clan and they all take on that role? Or do people within a community take on a different clan slash role so there is diversity? Apologies if, an, uh, if this is an obvious question. I am not of uh, First Nations descent and looking to learn. Uh, usually, uh, like, like say if your father is a um, bear clan, then you would be Bear Clan and you take on that role. If your father is a Martin Clan, then you take on that role. So it's like, a, um, let's say that your mother is a, your mother is Crane Clan and your father is French. Uh, we adopted the French into uh, uh, the, the Mittagoujouk. We adopted them to Martin Clan because the Mittagoujouk, they wanted a lot of, uh, um, a lot of Martin fur. And the Anishinaabe people look among themselves, oh, it must be their clan. Martin is the reason why the Martin today. It doesn't mean that uh, if you're Martin clan, it doesn't mean that you're, you're, you're uh, Mittagoujouk heritage. And it means that uh, as a people, there's a lot of uh, Mit there's a lot of Martin clans out there that have no French li li lineage at all. But you know, but there's people that out there that are Martin clan that do so because we uh, the Martin adopted them. Same for Eagle. Eagle clan uh, adopted the. Um, Adopted the Jaganashi, the English. So, so if your father is English or Eagle Clan, you know that's how that's how we do it in Nishinaabe country. Like I said, it varies from community to community. Um, maybe maybe I'm gonna do. I'll tell you something different. I'll tell you in a dream. You have to do it this way, then you follow it that way. The Mana do tell you to do it. So there's no right or wrong way on how we do things because everything's uh, constantly changing in our way of life as a people. So. So uh, if you want to learn how how you're with your clan, there's like um, you know, uh, just do do some uh, research to your family, or you can go to a ceremony like a Chisa Khan ceremony or shake and tent. You can ask those spirits in that ceremony, or you can put out tobacco. You know, we all can dream. We all can communicate with spirits. You know, ask your ancestors. What what is my clan? Put your tobacco out. Put a feast. Do those things. Sing a song. You know, call them in, and they'll they'll tell you. You know, never, and our knowledge is never lost. We have to understand we're spirits. We all have the, we all have that right to communicate, to be able to, to spot. To, as soon as you pick up that tobacco, like I said, as soon as you use that red willow, it already knows its purpose. It's already know what's going to take place. So, so it, when, you, when you utilize that tobacco, those money do will turn and look. So, and sometimes it might, it might take you a year to get that answer, you know, because uh, one day is like a, a, a year over there. So some people say vice versa. So, so yeah, it's, it's uh, really important that we understand our clan role. Each clan role may vary different from different community to community. It's like, uh, uh, it's like uh, different clans, you know, like the, like the Kingfisher, you know. We understand where the Kingfisher comes from. We understand that, that clan role of the Kingfisher. So, so Miigwech, if you have any other questions. Miigwech. So um, I think we're gonna we're gonna stop there. Um, yesterday, last evening, I, I I I had a talk to give, and we were talking about people searching, and uh, I was talking about people searching for things, and you know w I think you started off with this, but some of that is right in your own heart. And if you, if you look there first, it's going to guide you to where you need to go. And I think sometimes, especially if people are just learning, they want to look out over there and 
grab and take new things and piece it together. And, and I only know that because that's what I did when I started. Um, but eventually I sat quietly and I started to listen to hear and through those dreams, through those experiences with, uh, you know, those spiritual encounters, it, it suddenly the path became more clear and it's still, it's still unfolding. So um, with that, um, you guys are incredible. I thought that from the first time I talked to you last week and I was just like, I learned all these things just in that half an hour we had to set up for this week. I'm, I've been still thinking about those lessons that I learned last week, uh, miigwech. I want to um, um, close in a good way by passing it back to uh, Chief Sayers to um, give thanks to uh, both of you for your time today on, on behalf of the, the, um, the people of this nation and this land, Bauteen, miigwech. Miigwech, miigwech, Andrew, and uh, miigwech, Bananabe Kwe, and Mugamawab. Um, I really appreciate, and um, it was so informative, and it's always, I always find some kind of beautiful insight and thought, and you got me thinking, and I think that's a real good outcome for all of us. If it gets us thinking, looking at the world from another lens, that helps all of creation. So miigwech for you guys sharing today, and I'm looking forward to our paths crossing somewhere down the trail again. And uh, in the meantime, take care and be well. Miigwech kibijaya. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for making some time for us today here in Bauting for this wonderful educational experience. So miigwech, 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 miigwech kajamanado, miigwech.